Hey, Apollo Baptist Church, this is Pastor Gary on the Apollo Underground Vlog, coming at you a little bit later than I wanted to on January 8th, 2021. Um, already 2021 is posing new challenges, as on Wednesday, our national capital um, was basically stormed by an angry mob. Um, there's been a lot of rioting this year. <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe some of it is COVID and maybe some of it is uh, a lot of other things, um, but uh, um, it's disturbing. Um, I want to direct us, as we think about this, um, to our Bible reading plan. So I, I launched a new Bible reading plan for the church. It's, a, it's in the sermon handout if you missed it. So every week on the sermon handout, uh, just under the discussion portion, is uh, our church Bible reading plan if you want to follow it. Um, and we're going to be reading through Isaiah. Um, and you know, right away in Isaiah, in chapter 1, um, in, in verse 2, he says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. Children have I reared and brought up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner, and the donkey its master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people, hear that? My people do not understand. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, offspring of evildoers, children who deal corruptly. They have forsaken the Lord. They have despised the Holy One of Israel. They are utterly estranged. Um, it says in verse 5, why will, why, will you be, why will you still be struck down? Why will you continue to rebel? The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even to the head, there is no soundness in it. But bruises and sores and raw wounds, they are not pressed out or bound up or softened with oil. Um, what this is saying is, um, is you can uh, know whatever you want. You can be as intelligent as you uh, claim to be, um, but the, the but really the height of ignorance is not to know your Creator, um, and and it's even more inexcusable considering the rest of creation seems to be better at worshiping God than we are. The ones made in His image, um, from the top down, we're sick. Um, like the dog, I mean the, the the ox knows its owner. The the donkey knows its master's. Crib and Israel doesn't even know. My people do not understand. You know, we at this time anyway, we we live in the we have the oldest written constitution in the world. Um, it's it's an, it's amazing what uh, Americans have come up with. Um, our system of government is the best in the world, as far as checks and balances, as far as um, trying to have executive power but still have uh, room knowing that mankind is sinful, knowing that that if you give people too much power, they will abuse it. Um, and, and yes, ultimately that system did win out. It did play out on Wednesday, on Thursday that you know the government did resume meeting. but um, I think what we're seeing right now is it doesn't matter what system we have in place. It doesn't matter what how great our history is. If we do not know the only thing that matters, that there is a God who loves us, who died for us, the system will work. Um, I mean, if you look at, I mean, what did we do? What what's what's wrong with the system that played out? We have a voting uh, process. We voted, and. Seemed pretty simple, and the country put in its vote, and it wasn't that simple. At the end of the day, I mean, it wasn't enough. And all of a sudden, the things that we used to do really easily, like transfer of power, now all of a sudden it's not easy anymore. Um, now, we, I, we're not going to get into the politics about it. I know we got fans of this, this candidate, fans of that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, the, the candidate is not the problem here. What I'd like to just talk about is how... The rejection of God is playing out in our country. We have ha we have the greatest written constitution in the world. Um, we have the greatest system. 
I don't even think the system is the problem. Our problem is our people. Look, there's no. we are sick, our whole heart faint from the sole of the foot even to the head. There's no soundness in it. Uh, this Sunday in our prayer meeting, on our Zoom prayer meeting that is, um, Sunday at 7 p.m., um, we're going to be praying for our country. Um, I know there's a lot of, there's just a lot of different emotions, but the main thing we're going to pray for is we're going to pray for Christians. We're going to pray for uh, believers that we are what our country needs us to be. Um, the reality is we've got people from all kinds of political bends in our church. God has saved us from all kinds of different um, political concerns and convictions, and yet we are here in church loving each other, worshiping God together. And so I think we need to model to our country what it looks like to have brotherly love, common human decency, and unity in the midst of diversity. Um, we need to model that as Christians. Um, the reality is God has saved us all from all these different walks of life that are not getting along in our country. It does sometimes feel like America is so divided. There's just all these different things. But in in the church, in God's church, we're not divided along those lines. And so we've got to show this country that it's okay to disagree. And it's okay that we wouldn't do it the same way you would politically. We may not have the same exact uh, solution to this country's problems, but we still love it. And, and, and thereby, we love each other. Um, so, um, I hope that encourages you. Um, I think our biggest problem as a country um, isn't the election. It's not the president. It's not Congress. It's, uh, it's our people's not knowing who their master is. Not knowing who the owner is. I mean, we, we got oxen in this country that have a better idea of who God is than we do. And that's got to crush us to our very core. So we're going to pray about that. I'm going to be continuing uh, the last week of our vision series this uh, Sunday. Uh, members of the mysteries of God. So we're going to talk about church membership. Talk about why that matters. Um, I'm really excited to to preach to you again. I'm really excited about being in person. We're back in person, Lord willing. Um, for those of you that aren't going to be with us in person, um, we will miss you. But we're also with. We know you're with us in spirit. Um, please uh, uh, be in prayer for all the new people that have been coming. Um, we have at least eight people that are, we expect to be in Discover Apollo um, class uh, this Sunday. So woo, two of them are uh, are very new believers, and two of them are very are we don't even think they are believers at all. So they're just they're totally totally new. They just want to see what what God has for them. And then others are Christians that God is is putting into our membership uh, to serve and everything else. So be in prayer for that. I look forward to uh, either seeing you or you seeing me on Sunday.